Hello everybody and welcome to episode number three of the Keep It Real series. So a couple of minor little changes uh, which we are going to make. So uh, I did drive the tractor back here by the way. I don't know if that's cheeky. We're still doing the same job for them so I guess it was alright to, to kind of drive home. Uh, anyway, we are going to try something a little bit different on the time. Didn't didn't quite sit right with me. Um, I did mention how fast the sky kind of moved when it was going at times 30. Didn't didn't overly like it, uh, and lots of people agreed. So kind of had a a bit of a rethink, I guess. Uh, loads of different suggestions of what times to go for, how many days of the month. What I'm going to try is go for three days a month. Um, at times 15 uh, and just see so so we were doing six days a month at times 30 uh, and you were quite regularly having to kind of walk all the way back here to our kind of rented house uh, and sleep which means you know you're probably losing five or six hours of the actual day itself just through sleeping so I'm hoping that three days a month at times 15 would be far more reasonable I still I really want to simulate the whole Having to drive back to your rented house, having to sleep, checking the weather forecast for the morning. Um, so what I don't want to do really is play it real time and set it back to one day per month because you just kind of lose lose that little bit of an element. But that's not to say that's not what's going to happen. Um, that could be what we do. But for a minute, we will try this. So now that the talking's out of the way, We'll speed that up to times 15. There we go. Right, so we are going to get on with. Let's jump into the cab. We're going to get on with um, the contract in field 15. Now, a bit of a weird one, really, because at the end of the last episode, the last bale, maybe, half a bale that we took to the animal dealership actually gave us some money. That doesn't normally happen unless you've completed the contract. But yet, when you check the contract, we haven't completed the contract. Um, so, we've completed that contract and it's fully grown already. Would you believe it? Weird odd. I think there's something maybe a little bit weird going on with the map. But anyway, we are going to complete the other contract. Now, now I do wonder. If the reason it's saying it's not completed is purely because we haven't cut it, uh, which would be interesting actually, because that would mean all of the bales that we produce would actually be ours. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Oh, disconnect those hoses. There we go. So, yeah, I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but either way. We've completed 80% of that contract. We might as well do the last part of it. Um, now, I do notice actually that the uh, the water has drained away. I'm pretty certain it is one of the mods. I don't know which mod it is, by the way. Uh, but one of the mods is uh, causing the uh, realistic water, which is great. I think that's brilliant. But um, thank you to comment two or three comments uh, from people who've played this map themselves who've tried it on um, console maybe tried it on a PC just standard in game with normal kind of mods and it doesn't seem to do that so um, yeah potentially it is a mod that's been activated which is causing that um, now a couple of people have asked as well by the way I will um, try and type up the mod list because there's quite a few 90% of them are mod hub so pretty much available to anyone anyone on a kind of PC that is now I kind of parked that baler right in the way didn't I let's do this realistically we don't want to be bashing people's equipment out of the way so we'll, we'll get that moved a minute but yeah I will um, I will at some point before I actually load into the game, I'll um, make a little note of the various different mods that I've got activated. Just just in case anyone wants to replicate something like this, or you see a mod that I'm playing with which looks pretty good, at least you'll know then what it is. Right, let's jump out again. I'll tell you what, sometimes this manual touch does get a, a little bit tedious, but it's all about the realism. 
Right, so first things first, we need to take both of these mowers. So we'll connect up the mowers. Hopefully that's okay. J just connect our PTO while we are here. Made that mistake last time. So we're going to head on down to the other field. Now, it is a very, very tiny field. So this shouldn't actually take too long. Uh, and I'm wondering if if just the actual grass cut in itself completes the contract, do we sell the bales or do we keep them? Do we keep them? I don't know. We may be a little while away from having probably cows. Um, I don't know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking probably cows. In my uh, Edgewater Saskatchewan series, I'm literally about to get some sheep. Um, just because we want the, the wool input to go into the spinnery. Um, but actually, even sheep I tend to avoid normally. Um, but I haven't actually done cows on any series yet. What is... Um, well, that was strange. What did I just hear? Absolutely nothing. Unless it just doesn't like that mirror being on the pavement. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... I don't want to do sheep in this because in a minute we'll be kind of fully fledged sheep farmers in uh, Canada. Uh, we've also had a really good go at pigs in Canada and I'm actually really enjoying them by the way. Anyone who's not really tried pigs before because they, they seem much harder than they are, um, they are actually really really worth it and I've kind of done a bit of trial and error in that Saskatchewan series, learnt how they work can seem a little bit complex but long term they're really really worth it okay right here we are I'll just uh, I won't be a minute there cars open up this gate just that small bit of grass there really should not take long at all okay so yeah what's the priority at the minute money probably or thinking way 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 ahead and keeping a couple of bales I'm not sure not too sure but what I am sure of is we need to get cutting okay first part lower it down let's get that back unfolded just try and line ourselves up Probably a bit too close, so we'll move away a little bit. Okay. Now, interestingly, this is a contract. The the mod is on the real mower mod, which allows you to chop down bushes. I wonder if those bushes are respawned once we've completed the contract. I do wonder. We'll have to uh, find out. Now, that tree's in a bit of an awkward place. Are we going to be able to dodge it? I'm going to go with yes, that was a good dodge, maybe. Alright, let's keep on going. So, we just need to keep an eye on the top right hand corner and see whether or not the percentage of completion changes. We'll also try and do it without running over the, uh, the garden there. I did, uh, <laughs> I made an error, it was my fault. He, um, all of that struggling, honestly, you would not believe how long I struggled to get those things on. I even clipped a bit of it off camera. Um, but those bale grabs, actually, I didn't have correct keybind um, assigned to the controller. But you could actually j change the width of them. You could uh, adjust them so that they would lift up bigger bales. So all of that hassle I had, I could have simply avoided it if I'd set the down controller up properly. But there you go, you learn. I never actually used that type of bale grab before, so it's always good to try something out new, I guess, anyway. Right. So, I've not seen that bar change in the top corner. So I'm kind of confused. Let's have a look at the contracts.
84, okay, no, it is working, though, it's going up, 84%. That was, I'm pretty sure, 80 at the end of the last episode. So it is doing something, making quite a bit of difference. So if we chop all of this grass, ted all of this grass, and bale all of this grass, and it says contract completed, then those bales are essentially ours. I guess my only concern is if we did decide to keep a bale, when we complete the contract, would they disappear? Um, which I guess is potentially possible. I'm not sure. That is a bit of an unknown one for me, actually. Maybe we'll just sell them. Let's not risk it. Um, now, for definite, 100%, we are going to do some exploration today. Um, go and look at those five pieces of land I guess that we shortlisted now uh, I've had a couple of good suggestions uh, and actually rather than using the taxi I could potentially kind of lease a vehicle um, I did I didn't mention it in the recording but it is definitely something I intended to and that was kind of a rule where um, again just trying to simulate a little bit of realisticness um, you can't lease or loan equipment until i don't know let's say you you've done three months so we've got a rental house we sign that kind of uh, digital contract so potentially we have to build up some sort of credit score i don't know electoral roll or something so you you can't actually lease or borrow money for the first three months until you've been living at that property and you've had a, a, a real address for three months. Now, I guess stuff like that in real life, it'd probably be like three years. I know most things ask for three years worth of history, but I think three months is kind of realistic. What, what it does do, and the reason I mainly want to do it, is it stops me jumping straight in and leasing the, the biggest tractor you can lease. Um, and borrowing a huge amount of money just so that we can buy a big bit of land. Uh, I don't want things to move that quickly. I really don't want them to move that quickly. And the same again, I suppose, with kind of leasing a car. So we could lease a vehicle instead of uh, calling the taxi. Um, but leasing is leasing, so we'd have to lease it based on whatever it costs us in the shop. Um, I don't want to kind of role play and make up costs and things too much um, because although this this is kind of a, a heavy series on rules it's not really a role play series um, and again I might as well uh, do a little name drop in there I do have a role play series um, I don't call it survival role play because you know that that's a name that's well known um, you know the the main man uh, Dagawin, that, that's his kind of series, I think he started off with the whole survival roleplay thing a long time ago, by the way, FS17 I think, and his series in uh, SF17 in Lesson Farm is probably one of my favourite series out of all of his roleplays that he's done um, the original ones are sometimes better one thing I don't mind, by the way, and you've probably noticed is talking about other channels because um, just like pretty much everyone who's watching this video I enjoy watching people play Farming Simulator, I enjoy people making up stories uh, and I do quite like to see people's channels grow um, so I really don't mind talking about other people, I'll always talk about various different YouTubers and by the way if I see a series I really like the look of um, I'll either add it to my description or I'll just mention it um, because no, I think being genuine is the best way, isn't it? You know, it's not a competition. It's just a little bit of fun. I will say, by the way, um, I've mentioned kind of the bigger names, but I haven't mentioned him in this series, but um, all, all of this is kind of thanks to uh, UFG. Well, that's how I know him anyway, but um, Your Fault Game really really good so we've played many many hours playing online he has his own channel um, he has a, a good following and he has some really good series going on uh, and if you haven't watched him it's definitely worth a watch um, some of his 
uh, original things like the Western Wild series he did as soon as that map came out was really really good and that's worth a watch even now. Um, he's currently got one going on which is uh, like a a bit a bit like a hardcore survival I guess really. Uh, not too heavy on the rules but very heavy on the kind of ways to earn money. Uh, and it's in the map called um, I think it's Hinterland. If that's if that's how you pronounce it, I think it is. Uh, but that's pretty good actually. That's a complete kind of start from scratch. Um, he's not using things like chainsaws and stuff. He's using the the mod that works like a chainsaw, but it looks like a little pickaxe or a little wood axe, I should say. It's not Minecraft. So yeah, certainly worth it. But all, all of this is kind of thanks to him. We we spent a long time playing together, um, a long time talking, and. Uh, yeah, he always said to me, why, why don't you do something yourself? you you got kind of a voice that's kind of good for it. Um, well, at least I think he said that. He probably didn't say that, actually. Um, but he did. He, he was going on at me for a while about giving it a go. So I did. Um, in fact, we spent a good one or two hour session playing online together. Um, all whilst playing online, he even streamed how he does his editing, how he does his recording. Honestly, if it wasn't for... UFG um, or your fault game I probably wouldn't have even bothered trying um, so I am thankful for that and I always will be um, and because of that because he's a genuine kind of guy he'll always be one of my favorite youtubers no matter what anyway that is the grass cut let's have a little check-in 99% so I'm thinking as long as we don't complete the contract we'll still be able to ted this up we'll still be able to kind of uh, bail it and sell all the bales make that extra money and then complete the contract um, I'm sure we'll be able to and you know that that's not cheating definitely not because that's part of the contract itself so let's uh, connect to that we might as well leave this equipment here because the uh, owner of the equipment will soon take it all back once we've actually finished doing it. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I don't need to lower that to undo it, so that's fine. Lovely. Okay, good. First bit done. So we need to head back. We need to get the tether um, and I'm guessing if I connect the tether to the front, I can probably get the wind wearer at the same time. Hopefully. Right, let's head on back. Now you will notice actually in the bottom corner, and um, we've had this uh, tractor for so long now. Um, potentially, before we finish this contract, we may be stuck having to put some um, DEF, some diesel exhaust fluid, uh, into the tank. Um, so you've got that extra bar down in the right corner, the kind of light blue looking bar. Um, again, that's kind of the... DEF is another one of those realism mods, I guess, uh, which I wanted to install. I've not actually tried to do it, so I don't actually know how it works. I think you buy it and you just kind of refuel using that particular mod. So we'll try it anyway. If we don't try it this time, I'm sure eventually we'll need to do it. It's restricted our view a little bit, but we can still see safely, so that's fine. So let's connect up this uh, wind rower to the back. I feel the time is much better, by the way. I don't know what you think. Um, the fact, you know, we, we've done a... There's no point connecting all of that, is there? Because we don't need that first. Yeah, we've, we've done a, a fair amount, and it's now... Well, it's now one o'clock. Maybe it's still going a bit too fast. Maybe it is still going a little bit too fast. Now we do need to check actually. Let's pull over. Pull over in front of here. And just check the weather. Because I notice in the top corner now. The rain symbol has appeared. When is the rain due? 3 o'clock. We've got 2 hours. To get this tedding done. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it at times 15 for now. But I feel maybe even that's a bit too fast. Um, I did also consider maybe times 10. But with two days. 
so let me know what you think that could also work um, what I want to do I want to do what's right for me obviously naturally because I'm the one who has to do the recording but I also want to try and kind of set something in a way that it's gonna work for, for people watching um, and something that still keeps it that little bit different to to the norm so yeah do let me know I do really like kind of replying and reading the comments and things anyway so and I mean it's all uh, it's all algorithm isn't it you can't really can't really moan about the algorithm now doesn't really matter where we leave that just drop that off here good and we'll also connect this to the back Let's lower it down and disconnect that spin the tractor around wrong gear and get on with this Ted in yeah for now I think I'm not gonna risk it we'll just sell these bills um, in theory anything we make is is just kind of free money so we might as well sell the bales. However, it would be good to know if in the future, once I've completed the contract, if the bales will stay there. Because we may need to do that at some point if we start to get things like cows. Um, so that would be handy to know if that would work. Now, I am talking. I need to uh, I need to work and talk, not just stand around talking, because we are running out of time. half past two we're cutting it close hopefully it won't start raining at dead on two so let's not muck about with this jump straight into the wind rowing try and do this as realistic as possible you shouldn't really be certainly tedding or wind rowing in the rain we can probably get away with uh, the last little bit of bailing in the rain um, but we don't want to be mucking around so let's unfold this you may notice by the way the um, absolutely filthy tether that we were using had disappeared when I completed that contract but the brand new shiny one stayed there I don't know how I don't know what on earth happened very strange but this windrow certainly looks like it's what I use though Right, this hopefully is not going to take too long. We do not have much time. Okay. As it stands, it is not raining yet. 
but it's very close. The the ultimate giveaway is as soon as that wiper blade starts moving, we know we're in trouble. But fortunately, we have finished the wind rowing. We're not going to muck around. We've got a little bit of a drive. The uh, the center of gravity mod kicked in. Then I don't quite know if you can tell, but that realistic mod, honestly. The REA mod, center of gravity, you really cannot take corners too sharp. You take corners unrealistically, the tractor will roll. So I need to remember I've turned that on actually. Right, sorry mate, we we'll pull out in front. It's just started raining. Just started raining. But I still think we can bail. It's only just started. Uh, it's actually an hour later than the forecast said, so uh, as per usual the forecast was wrong. But I think we'll be alright bailing as long as we're quick and we're not mucking around. It's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, let's get this connected up. Make sure that you uh, pull back enough. Let's get all of that connected. Right, let's go. No cars come in. This is a pretty nippy little tractor actually. Pretty nippy. Now as soon as we've um, finished this bailing, we will jump into the shop I think actually because I've kind of missed a couple of tricks. I haven't looked at the shop too much to be honest we haven't had the money so it's pointless but now that we got a little bit of money cool that's a close one I nearly hit that poor chap yeah now that we've got a little bit of money we need to keep an eye on the shop because I need to get a vehicle um, and again going with that sort of realistic theme um, a vehicle is the priority um, not a lot of things you can do in life not me personally anyway can be done without actually having a vehicle. Tool is reserved for contract work. That's why we're here. Is it picking it up? Yes. Well, I got a bit worried then. Um, now, what I am going to do, by the way, is change the bail size because now that I realise I could have extended the uh, grab all along, I might as well go for the biggest possible size. Yeah, I might as well maximise the size and, and save as many trips as possible. We need to get these bales done and to that animal dealership as quickly as possible. Uh, it would be good, in fact, if we can do it all before the darkness hits. To be honest, now that we've done one complete day, I'm kind of thinking this wasn't a big job, but we didn't finish it. Maybe we should go to two days at times ten. Um, rather than three days at 15. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think, maybe, because that would be helpful. I'm kind of veering more towards two days times 10. Obviously, I need to make that decision before I get into October. I do feel like things like bailing and. Uh, oh, look, there's another puddle appearing over there. Yeah, bailing, tedding, wind rowing, even mowing. That is one of the jobs that you can do kind of completely first person um, without too much hassle. In actual fact, sometimes it's easier to do bailing in first person because you can do what I'm doing. You can just follow your, follow your tracks nice and easy. And you don't tend to miss anything either. I don't know if it's of interest to anyone, but I actually, I've done a bit of research recently. So I use, I have a wheel um, I don't tend to use it too much, it, it's such a better way to play the game, but for me it's the hassle of having to set it up every time. I don't have a setup where I can just leave it set up at all times, so I don't tend to use the wheel. Um, however, what I do use is my um, Xbox Elite controller, I think it's the, the newer one. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth, I know that much for sure. So, um, and rumour has it and Microsoft will tell you you can only reprogram your buttons um, 
based on kind of Xbox standard controls. So you can make the X button the A button, for example, using the Xbox app, um, which is good. It's good to be able to do that because I do have four additional buttons at the back of the control. Um, however, it's it's kind of pointless. Why? Why have all of those extra options? You know, this control has four more buttons available than a standard control. Why can't I program them to be different buttons, like new buttons altogether? And supposedly you can't do it, um, which is an absolute pain. However, I have figured out that actually you can do it. Um, there's a certain program. I'll have to try and remember what the name was, but what I'm thinking of doing, um, which I think would be pretty cool, is remapping. So my A button, my X, my Y, and my B are all um, the paddles at the back of the controller. So the actual main keys themselves, your standard A, X, Y, and B buttons, uh, which you'd normally press with your thumb. I've never, the whole time I've owned this control, I've not even pressed the buttons. Um, I've never needed to just got so used to kind of using these paddles especially when you're playing things like COD so they're kind of pointless however what I could do is remap them to PC keyboard buttons so for example I might remap my X button to the left indicator and I might remap my B button to the right indicator and I could map the A button to um, the hazards, for example. Um, so I am probably going to do that um, because I think indicators and things is quite good. But when you play on a control, it is quite difficult to do. So you can't really turn and press the indicator at the same time. So uh, yeah, just just something random. But if you have got a, an Xbox Elite control and you play on PC. Um, it's not actually true that you can't remap the buttons. You can remap them to anything. If you wanted to remap one of your buttons to be the equivalent of the space bar on your keyboard, you can do it. You just can't do it through Microsoft. Okay, right. We've just grabbed the, the bail grabs. We're gonna head back to that field and try and just get these bales as quickly as possible. We can't be leaving them out in the rain. If they had a little, uh, shed or something it wouldn't have been so bad we could have just popped them in the shed before we went home but we can't so we're gonna have to sell them again we, we need to try and do it like you would do in real life now I'm no farmer by the way um, I'm just kind of going by common sense maybe what what you think you would have to do um, the great news for me is I know I have lots of good farmers um, who do watch this series and who do give me advice so I'm sure you'll uh, soon let me know if what I do is completely wrong um, right it suddenly got dark quick didn't it let's um, get our lights on and we'll switch over so yeah I have checked the settings now but there you go look so you can actually after all of that struggling you can actually change the width of the bail grab now yeah maybe maybe we've left it too late this rain is pretty bad now um, we are struggling to move now we are struggling let's pick the back up maybe that will give us traction there we go a little bit of traction not much, but a little bit. Hopefully, that will now pick it up. Oh, my. oh how easy was that? <laughs> I can't believe I struggled so much. Oh dear. Right. I still don't feel this is going to go too well. Because we cannot move. Let's do our best. Look at the state of what we've done to that field. Look at the state of it farmer is not going to be happy where's all the rest of them well we persevered through the rain actually didn't rain for too long um, but I'm pretty sure 
I'm sure there was another bale somewhere. Oh, it's rolled down there, there. Okay. Right. That is actually a smaller bale. Am I going to be able to fit that on here? Let's try and do that awkward one now. We'll come back to the other one in a second. Okay, I'm having to be so careful. I didn't overly like picking up that smaller bale along with the bigger bale. Um, but it is holding it just about. It looks like it's right on the brink of falling off though. And then the back ones you can't actually fold because the bales hit each other and they start jumping about. So I'm having to do the back ones without folding it. And the front ones. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not easy. And also can't really see in my mirrors to know whether or not the bales are still there. They both look pretty good. Hopefully the animal dealership is still open. I hope so. Right, let's back the other two in first because they are both ready to fall off. So will this pay us or will this complete the contract? Good. 101% transported for field 15. Isn't that interesting? I wonder how that works. Right, so this must be pure profit. Uh, we just need to unfold them. Wow. Ideal. So, we made probably... I, I mean, I wasn't really watching, if I'm honest, but... Two and a half grand, maybe a little bit more then. We made from bales just in that field alone and we haven't collected the final contract yet so we need to do that now let's pop their equipment back where their field belongs turn off all of their lights so they're electric did a good job I mean, I'm glad that's over because that's kind of an episode and a half now of contract and doing the same contracts, bailing up. Try and do a little bit more variety, I guess, going forward. But we are, we're at the early stages, aren't we? We're, we're starting from absolutely nothing. We need to kind of do these kind of tedious jobs to get that money. As soon as we manage to decide on what piece of land we want, it's going to be a different story. Now, while we're here, before we head on back, Let's just accept the contract. Oh, what, what is it doing? It was on 99% a minute ago. Okay, contract accepted. So we now have £20,095. All of the equipment has now disappeared, um, which was kind of odd. The field has now magically restored itself just like the last field did so i don't quite know someone did met i think it might have been nc actually who's uh one of my kind of regular commentators so thank you very much for letting me know as always mate but you did mention that sometimes it's the first year of playing this map there's a bit of a weird thing that goes on with some of the the kind of seasonal growth so maybe that's what it is hopefully that will correct itself but either way, we've been paid. Um, so that's all that matters, isn't it? Now, we haven't checked it, and I said we would. What's in used? Oh, interesting. That looks a little bit like the bailer we've just been using. Do you know what? I've been waiting so long for a tractor like that. I'd love to have a T7 on my Edgewater series. And every time I check the shop, there's never that kind of that level of tractor. Um, I shouldn't complain because I pretty much get bargains on everything else so I shouldn't moan really but I would love to have that T7 in that series it's typical what I am hoping for though keep checking is some sort of vehicle I've installed a variation of vehicles by the way um, cars, pickup trucks, motorbikes um, I haven't installed a push bike um, anyone who's kind of checked out my previous series will know. Although I do kind of do it on purpose, I uh, 
I have bad history with motorbikes. What a wonderful day to do some property searching. Amazing. Right, so check the shop again. Anything changed? Nothing major. That's a good deal though, isn't it? That is a good deal. Right, so nothing's changed in there. It's a shame. I was hoping there was going to be a car. So we will just call the taxi. So again, a bit like I did with the kind of store delivery in the first episode. All I'm literally going to do to get a taxi here is exactly this. So just literally go into the helper menu, select your taxi, which kind of shows officially as an owned car. Um, and then hopefully, as long as it works, I will set the destination to kind of there. And hopefully it will pick up. I'm not going to set up auto drive routes because if the car decides, if the worker, the taxi driver, decides it can't get somewhere, then we're just going to have to get out, pay him for what we've done and walk the rest of the distance. Um, if I set auto drive routes, I could pretty much just get anywhere on the map without a challenge. So um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it and we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But I'm kind of hoping that sometimes it doesn't take you to exactly where you want to be. The taxi is just on its way. There it is. Oh, he even pulled onto the... I could not have planned that any better if I tried. That was like perfect, wasn't it? Right. And uh, same again. I probably won't show this. But same again. Jump into the menu. And let's set ourselves a waypoint. So... First field I want to check out is actually this one here, number 25. Um, taxi may not get this far. We may have to get him to drop us off here somewhere. But 25, this seemed to be the one that had the most suggestions. Uh, and it looks like he can do it. Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, he's not happy turning around in the road. So, let's go here. I mean, we're, we're pretty much there anyway, aren't we? Position blocked or unreachable. Go to, here we go. So, first time using the taxi. It's quite exciting. Try and get a cheeky little screenshot while we're on the way. Right, let's jump out. So this doesn't look like much. However, just think. Think of this. Chop some treats. So it's just cost us 30 quid, 33 quid just to get the taxi down the road. 33 quid. Wow. No wonder it's such a new taxi. Anyway. Um, yeah, so actually pretty big plot. So imagine no treats. Or certainly less trees, a little bit of money that we'll make from those trees, uh, which would be amazing. And, you know, a nice little homestead, I guess, we can build here. Some nice animals, some chickens. Actually, take that back, I'm not going to go chickens, I'm going to be different. Uh, I'm going to use the enhanced animal mod and get ducks. Little baby ducklings and some ducks. As far as I'm aware, they still produce the same amount of eggs. It doesn't really make any difference. Just visually, they look different. But uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. And then eventually, I guess, easy access into some big fields. But we're thinking way ahead before we start getting stuff like that. Especially with this kind of challenging difficulty. This is a big old plot of land, though. This is a really big plot of land. All the way out to here. So no one, I mean the episode is quite new, I'm recording this quite soon actually because it's popular, people are kind of really into it uh, and also I'm quite into it which is why I want to play it and record it but no one suggested this plot of land yet but actually 
It's a lot better than I thought. There's also a lot of money's worth of trees here. But we won't clear them all. We'll, um, potentially we, we'll get the old tin of spray paints. Mark up some trees we're going to get rid of. Create a small opening. Um, we could potentially, in the future, go for a log cabin or something here. Loads of options. So, I mean, it's the first plot that we've looked at. But so far, it is winning. Now, is he going to like getting to here? In fact, I hope he doesn't drive me all the way around the map. I mean, that's a typical taxi driver, I guess. Going the absolute long way around. But I don't feel he should be driving across someone's field. Yeah. Wow, it's your license, not mine, mate. Let's have a look at the second plot. This isn't the order I wanted to do it in, by the way. I wanted to go the complete opposite direction, but he didn't seem to want to do that, so. I just noticed in the bottom corner, this taxi's top speed is 132 miles per hour. 132. And he's doing like 14. Come on, mate, you can get me there way quicker. I quite like the idea that it charges us so much money, by the way. I do like that. Right. So, this is the second one. This is not a grass field like I initially thought. It's definitely not grass. But actually... It is quite nice and open. I tell you what, I quite like this. This kind of little runaway going through it. That's quite a cool looking feature, you know. Um, that's the sort of thing when you kind of a little bit obsessed with landscaping and things like I am. I do quite like that sort of feature. Now what's over here? How big is this land? Um, okay. Oh, there's the road. Now this, on the map, looks about the same size as the other piece but actually when you walk in it it doesn't feel as big at all but is that just because it's, it's kind of on a hill it's a bit more of an angle you know i really do actually quite like that though just imagine this with a nice little house over that side maybe a nice little bridge going over there and some animals over this side Maybe we could plough a little field down the bottom. See, I, I actually see the potential of this. Um, and actually, it's quite a big old... This area is pretty big. Sometimes having things on a hill is a bit of a, a mission. But for me, I like to do some fiddling with landscaping. Um, and also, it adds a bit more character. If you have things at different levels, a house at a different level... A driveway that's on a bit of a slope. That's just that's just real life, isn't it? That's just the way it is sometimes. I like this. I don't know if I like the kind of characteristics of this better than the other one. One thing we don't have in this one is so much profit opportunity. Because the other one had a lot of trees. But really... Do, do I want to get a chainsaw? Do I want to be that person that kind of chops down trees and makes loads of money right at the beginning from lots of trees? I mean, I, I kind of did that with my one of my first ever series, the Somerset Survival Series. Um, and that's kind of how we started, really. Just literally with, it, with a van and a chainsaw, the generic kind of survival. Um, I did do that again, realistically. It's got quite a lot of realistic spins on it. Um, my very first ever series um, from a kind of survival point of view. But personally, I think it's as good um, as this series. Um, and, and kind of maybe any other series a bit like it from other YouTubers. I, I think it is a good series. I, I think you want to be watching it. But I would say that. Now... He's turning around. Cool, this taxi driver is not 
He's not very observant of the road, is he? He's not very safe. Wow. Well, we're going to get there anyway. It's expensive for somebody who drives it dodgy. Paying all his fines for him, I think. Um, so, yeah. Just while we're kind of mentioning videos, I really would appreciate... If, if you want to watch something not different, different to this, um, but not different to kind of what you see um, in the world of farm sim, but it's something that's hugely time consuming for me, and that is the roleplay series. So the original one was my first ever episode that I did um, back in, I don't know when it was now, about six or seven months ago. Um, is he going to run that guy or is he going to wait? Good man, I'm impressed. I am impressed. Yeah, I uh, started off in Wozniss, uh, which is a map in Poland, I believe. Um, pretty good series. I, I put a lot of time into it, but that was my kind of crash course into the world of editing. Um, so, I had the odd little kind of audio experiment going on um, and some quality experiments going on, but still worth a watch. Lots of the, the new subs that I've got over the last couple of weeks have actually gone back. I get to see it. You get lots of analytic data um, when, when you have a YouTube channel and I get to see how many people are actually going back right to the very beginning. Uh, so it's good. So people are enjoying it. People are commenting on it. But my main one, the, the main one I guess up until this, my most popular series on this channel, um, which is relatively new. I've only really consistently been going at this since January. Um, so I did a few episodes before, but I left it go for two or three months, didn't do a thing. And then I kind of reinvigorated myself. January, 21st of January, um, is when I started the roleplay, and it's on Banny Spring. Um, and again, a bit like the Mr. CDP comments I made the other day, I did start the roleplay series three or four weeks before um, the current roleplay series, which is kind of taken over the Valley Spring world, which is is of course Dagwins, which is really good by the way um, but I am a little bit ahead um, I like to kind of brag about the fact that I'm always that tiny little bit ahead of the big ones maybe uh, I have a few good ideas which I'm just kind of putting into practice in these videos but uh, please do watch it because it takes so much time to do I put so much effort into it it's got a real good character um, Mr. Javaskis he's called. He's an old Cornish boy. I am from Cornwall if you haven't realised by the way if you are new and you haven't looked at the logo because uh, the writing is quite small but when you look into it in detail it is a Cornish pasty. Oh he's actually going to drive us down this road. I am impressed. Yeah it's a Cornish pasty um, and I am from Cornwall so uh, my Mr. Javaskis character is kind of a typical old Cornish boy uh, from around where I am so he's, he's quite enjoyable sometimes I make myself laugh um, just kind of doing the impressions actually uh, it is quite funny but yeah please do watch there's a lot of effort um, I tend to try and get one of those episodes in every weekend just one a week um, just because they do take so much time But so this is it I guess yeah plot 25 now it is, as I thought, just purely a field. It's been harvested, so I guess they won't mind me walking across it. But it is just purely a field. It's a little bit flatter. Um, and maybe we can make this something. Not a field. Some sort of property here. Um, a waterfront property, as I think uh, was described. Which uh, is always looks good, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to have a nice little view out of the window. Um, but we're thinking way ahead. Then we're not we're not quite at a stage where we're going to be building properties yet. That's for sure. We're going to be renting this house for a little while. But this has got potential. The biggest advantage of this, I guess, is the fields are ready to go. Um, the only thing that's not an advantage is we are pretty damn far away from having any equipment to seed it, cultivate, fertilize, harvest. We're not even close to doing stuff like that yet. So personally, I think the first plot is probably still leading the way. Um, and then the second plot 
is actually very closely second behind it purely because I like the whole landscaping idea um, however the first plot of course has got the, the profit in the trees so I know roughly what I want to do now I'm not going to get a taxi to cross the road because that would be a bit extreme what's this here absolutely nothing so well this okay where am I I thought this was, that is it let's just flick to map view okay so we are actually standing in this one which costs thirty thousand pound but this is a sale point I don't understand I don't understand this doesn't really look like it could be viable and you can't buy the sale point it's not like it's a production factory it's literally just a sale point from what I can gather or oh, it's a production factory no you have to buy that anyway 80,000 yeah I mean we don't need that anyway but still so you don't get that with the land but you buy the land that that's I don't know I think they're ripping us off a little bit on this one uh, we could potentially plow something here put a house there um, maybe I mean that's quite a nice pretty looking field isn't it maybe some ducks or some animals in this section here and we'll pop a gate there again just to try and keep the realism that could work I'm not sure that that's worth the additional money though I'm not so sure I do like that entrance though into the field that that is cool isn't it that is really good that's the sort of thing that does it for me and a nice big field okay I mean the only advantage of this one is that entrance into that field so that is a huge field though yeah it's 181,000 so it's not even like a future investment really because that is massive will we ever own that I don't know right so no good I'm gonna say that's not really what we want is it um, field 29 so we're gonna have to jump back in the taxi I wonder if the taxi driver wouldn't mind coming and pick us up over here doesn't seem to mind we'll go and wait by the main road for him and then get him to drop us up to field 29 did I say and we'll just have a look at that field now where is he he's on his way we'll just wait in here out of the rain Oh, you're gonna stop. What are you doing? <laughs> the um the this isn't the mod mod. This is the REA wheels mod, by the way. See how um Yeah, you're a bit stuck now, mate. The mod mod only takes effect in a field when it's raining. The REA mod gets you stuck to any environment. I believe you can even get stuck in the main kind of concrete roads. Uh, and that's exactly what it did. You've probably seen then, it was almost in slow motion, it started sinking. Um, yeah, interesting. Well, let's, uh, let's see if he'll take us there. Are you gonna stop, mate, or what? Okay, he's nearly got us here. lovely okay so well what do we think again it, it's it's a field isn't it it's just kind of a field it's not a bad bit of land though is there a back entrance way what's here okay the river um well I don't know I don't know what to think of Oh, that's just cost us 40 quid 40 pound to get here absolutely jake these taxi services are well expensive here um anyway it's just a field isn't it it's kind of a pretty square field um it's a nice field but it's just a field 
we wouldn't really be able to do a lot with it. I'm I'm not so this is probably I don't know, maybe maybe my third favourite. Um I prefer it a bit actually to the longer one because it's still got that nice river flowing behind it and it does look like a nicer area. Uh, it's a bit closer to the central town as well which is still helping but certainly not good as the first two. The first two are definitely the, the winners for me so I just really I need to decide of which one of those two will probably be a good option to go for. So I'll have to have a think but I think that's, uh, that's going to be it for now. Um, I know there was a fifth uh, piece of land we were looking at but that's quite close to the house that we're renting so we'll just pop there and have a little wonder um, next time in the next episode but that's not anywhere near I, I think I'm I'm kind of decided but undecided on the first two plots that we visited but which one do we go for do I want to be chopping trees what am I going to load them into um, or do I want to be thinking ahead and having a nice area that we can kind of landscape maybe get straight into the the ducks uh, and try and make some money potentially through some eggs and things so um i don't know i'm not sure what i want to do uh, but of course i would really appreciate a little bit of influence um so hopefully you've enjoyed the episode we've made a little bit of money uh, but the difficulty isn't too difficult uh, but it's certainly not easy um i quite liked using the taxi for the first time i hope you quite enjoyed that little different feature it works quite well actually um i genuinely think i've picked the best possible map to do this kind of series on i really do i thought that was a cat but it's a bird right well until the next episode hopefully this one is coming out for friday um, please please do if you haven't subscribed yet please do because I am so close to getting a thousand uh, which is that magic number so I do want that um, but more so please just check out the other bits on the channel um, like I said before I put as much effort into this as I did the first episode I ever made um, whether I had 10 subscribers or nearly a thousand subscribers or even thousands of subscribers in the future I still put the same amount of effort in um, just because I'm doing what I enjoy uh, and hopefully that comes across whilst I'm doing it so yeah take a look have a look at some of the other ones my role play I recommend or if you prefer the survival type style go for the Edgewater Saskatchewan one pretty good pretty good series but I would say that well until the next time anyway cheers and gone